Hello there, welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Type YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we will see the JavaScript interview 9th video which is on the JavaScript curing. So curing is the most advanced topic which is also mostly asked in the interview question. So first begin with the curing, we will see its basic definition. So curing is a function that will accept the multiple argument just like the normal function which will accept the multiple argument but it will transform this function into the series of function which the normal function does not do and every little function will accept the one argument so what it's mean to understand this just take a look into this normal function and this normal function will accept the multiple argument now take a look into this curing example here this function is get converted into the curry and the way of calling is actually changed here instead of passing this argument by comma separated we are passing it differently we are passing under the round bracket and each argument fits under the own round bracket so here instead of taking the all argument one what it does first it will take the first argument then this function will return the new function and that function will take this second argument and this second argument once it takes then that function will return another new function and that will take the another argument another next one argument so this will keep on going until all argument are fulfilled so to understand it more briefly let me take a simple example This is the single function which take a two argument and ultimately it return the concatenation of two inputs. So here I am passing one and one and the output I will get is obviously the two. Now suppose if I wanted it to the curring, even before I will show you how I am going to convert it into the curring, first I will convert it into the closure. And if you don't know what is closure, then I will recommend watch my previous video. I already uploaded video on the closure so it is a very helpful so it is a very helpful if you watch the closure before watching this cutting video now first let me convert this normal function into the closure so to convert into the closure I will first remove this argument now again I am going to return the new function that will take the another argument and that inner function is actually written the concatenation of first function and the second function argument. Now I will let me remove this. Now this piece of code is actually the example of the closure. Now let me call the closure. To call the closure, it is simple. Let me refer it to the another variable like final value I will say. Then I will call the sum. Now you know that the sum is taking the one argument. Right. Now I will pass the one. Now if you think that it will invoke the function and you will get the output. So that is not the truth. So suppose if I just console this and if I run this program. So you will get the lambda expression. Now to invoke the inner function as well, you will have to call this variable as a function. And here also you will pass the another single argument. Now it will return to you the concatenation of first and the second argument. See, the output is 2. So how this is happened? This happened just because of the closure functionality. So that's why I am recommending you first watch the closure then you can come into this curry now instead of calling like this what I will say I will remove this I will directly call this sum if I do this and it's taking the one argument and if I do this again it will return us the lambda expression so to call this inner function again I need to pass the 
another round bracket and that will contain the another function argument the inner function argument so this way is actually known as the cunning so what it does first it will take a first argument and that will return a single function and that function will take the another argument and this keep on going until all these functions are getting executed now see what happened see the magic 1 and 2 we got 3 now suppose we have the another argument so what happened see you will get the error so this is happened just because if you see this function it is taking actually the first function taking one argument and the second inner function taking the another argument now suppose if you wanted to increase the number of argument then again you need to call the another inner function inside this function so again i will say a b c and and inside this i will return a plus b also let me concat the c now output i am expecting it should be the c see now we got the whole sum of the all three arguments so this is what the cunning actually means now let's take a look into the key point that we have to remember so the cunning is actually like divide your function into the multiple smaller functions just like this this is the small function this is the another small function and that will handle its own responsibility like here i am doing the concatenation at this level but you can once this function return you another value then you can do the operation on this function level as well and it is a useful for the functional programming to create the higher order function that is true and it make your code readable so i am not uh, agree with this point because uh, if you ask me instead of calling function like this i will prefer the normal way of execution so there are some project where functional programming is more important so so in that scenario they mostly use this advanced topic like currying and closure so if you know this then obviously it is more easy to you for your code readable but for the normal who doesn't know about the currying so obviously it is hard to him so i believe you understand the current concept more briefly so this is it for this video we will meet again with another javascript interview question till then bye